Now that I've shown you how to create a basic invoice, I want to show you how to create another type of invoice called a recurring invoice. Now the concept behind a recurring invoice is that it allows you to create an invoice for a customer and then have that invoice automatically recreate itself on a regular basis. So for example, if I were a landscaper and say I did a certain amount of work on your yard and charged you a flat rate per month for my services, then I could create a recurring invoice that would automatically create itself and if I wanted to automatically send itself to you every month for that flat rate of services that I provide. So you can see that this would be a really handy tool for any type of business that has customers that they bill the same amount on a regular basis. Using recurring invoices where appropriate not only helps you with the data entry, but also helps you receive payment on those invoices faster because the invoices are being automatically generated on a regular basis. Where those invoices are created faster, they're bound to be paid faster as well. So let's take a look at how to create a recurring invoice inside of WAVE. To create a recurring invoice, we first need to go to the invoices page shown here, which can be accessed using the invoices icon on the left hand menu. Once we're on the invoices page, to access recurring invoices, we go to the recurring tab at the top of the page. To create a new recurring invoice, we need to schedule one by clicking the Schedule a Recurring Invoice button here on the right. Now as you can see in the lower section of this invoice, it should look fairly similar to the invoices that we created earlier. So in essence of time, I'm just going to quickly enter in the invoice that we want to create as a recurring invoice. Okay, so now I have my invoice created. The next step will be to schedule the recurring invoice. That's this brown section up here at the top. So the first thing I need to do is tell it how often I want this invoice to create itself. I can either give it a number of days, a number of weeks, or a number of months. In this case, I'm going to say months. So if I wanted this to be an invoice that only was sent once a year, I could say every 12 months. But in this case, I want it to recur every month. So I'm going to say every one month. I want this invoice to start on today's date, the 2nd of June. And I can tell it when I want it to end. So maybe this is a one year contract. So I can say end after 12 invoices. I could say end after a specific date. Or I could say never end and just have it go on ongoing like it was maybe an ongoing rent contract or something like that until we decide to cancel the contract and I can go in and edit it and end it at that time. Uh, in this case, we're going to go a one year contract. So I am going to say uh, after 12 invoices. And you can see down below, it explains to me what we're going to be doing. We're going to create a new invoice every month starting June 2nd, 2015 and ending May 2nd, 2016, after 12 invoices. So you get this nice verbal confirmation that that's, ex that's actually what you're intending to create. Now, as I mentioned before, this invoice can automatically email to the customer if I want it to. So I can click this box here and have the invoice automatically email itself out. Personally, I really like that feature. With the recurring invoices that I use, uh, in my businesses, I typically like to let the system just take care of itself. I've set up reminders that auto email out, I've set up the invoices that auto email out, then I can focus on taking care of my business and generating new contracts and doing my work and I don't have to worry about the billing side, it just takes care of itself. And ever since I started using these automatically emailing recurring invoices, I found personally that people are just paying me a lot closer to on time on a regular basis without me having to hound them for money because the system's doing that for me. So I really like that functionality. If I wanted to, I could send a copy to my email as well so that I can keep tabs on the invoices that are being sent. If you are only sending a few, that might be really useful. If you're sending a lot of recurring invoices, you may not want them all being emailed to your account unless you have a specific maybe accounts receivable email address that you use. So uh, that's up to you. I'm going to leave that one blank. Now that we've got the 
the invoice ready to be scheduled, the only thing left to do is review it and save it down here at the bottom. Thank you for watching the Bootstrapper's Guide to Wave Accounting. If you found this video useful, I encourage you to click the like button below, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and share this video with other entrepreneurs. Doing so will help us to continue creating more videos like this one for you and other Wave users here on the Accounting Lab.